Hi friends, my name is Akhil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial, I will show you how to convert CSV file to Excel in SSIS or in C Sharp. So in this video, we will convert a CSV file to an Excel file using C Sharp console app and then we will also convert that particular code into the SSIS package so that you can run the same code from the SSIS package as well. So let's jump to the demo. In my D files location, I got a file customer.csv. So this is the file and let me open this particular file in a text pad. So you can see that the, this is the data that it contains person's ID, first name, last name, address. So your file can contain any type of data. You can use any delimiter. For example, in this particular file, the delimiter is the comma. So we are going to convert this particular file into the Excel file. So let me close this particular file. So this is the file which is situated in the D files location but I want the new file to be created in the C files location so my new file will be created at this particular location. So I can go back to the D files location and I also created a logs folder here so that in case the process fails then the log should be created here. So for example if there is some issue with the file some formatting issue and if the process fails then it should create the log file at this particular location. So I have created a folder here. So I have already prepared the C sharp console app and I can explain you the code in brief and then I can just try to execute it from the C sharp console app and I will also try to execute it from the SSIS package and then I will share this code with you so that you can use it in your environment and I will also share the CSV file that I am using in this case. So what we are doing that in the main function we have declared a variable current date time and we are getting the current date time yy mmdd hours, minutes and seconds as well so that when the log file will be created then we will append this particular value to the log file so that we can easily identify like when a particular log file was created and this is the path of the log folder so in case if your log folder exists in some other location then you can provide your path there then we have used the try block and uh, the delimiter for the file is comma so we have provided the comma here and these variables like creatable query and columns we will be using in the code below and this is our source file name d file customer.csv so in case if you have different csv file then you can provide the path here and this is our dashed file name so this is the path of the excel file so i want to create a customer excel file in the c files location there is one important thing that you need to remember that you do not need to provide dot x ls x the code will provide the value by itself so you can just give the file path along with the file name and that's it the extension will be added by the code itself and then we have created an instance of the OLEDB connection and this connection will be used for the excel file and then we have declared an instance of the OLEDB command and this command will be used to create the excel file and the table inside the excel file and then we have declared an instance of the stream reader class which will be used to read the data from the csv file and now we are creating another instance here so now in this particular line we are just getting the file name from the file path and now in this particular line we are just preparing a create table statement for creating the excel sheet in the excel file and now we are closing the file and now we are declaring a connection string for the excel file so we are using the OLEDB driver here and we are using the extended properties as excel 12.0 and it will contain the header information so we have created a new connection here new command here and then assigned the connection string to the connection and we have then we have opened the connection and at this particular location we have created the excel file along with the sheet in it and now we are just reading the source file we are running a while loop here and the loop will run for all the lines in the csv file so we have declared a variable i here so the first time when the loop will run it will read the header information from the csv file so the header information will be appended here and then from the second line when the actual data will be read so for each line it will insert the data into the excel sheet so that's what we are doing here and as soon as this is done for all the lines then we will close the connection and then we will close the source file as well and in the whole process in case any exception occurs then what we will do we will create a file error log underscore current date time stamp into the log folder the file extension will be dot log and we will write the exception to that particular file so I will show you failing the whole process as well so that you can see how the exceptions will look like so I think I can start now this process so in the d files location I got a file customer.csv 
and in the C files location at the moment there is no files here and the logs folder is also empty okay so what this whole process will do that it will convert the d files customer dot csv into the c files customer dot xlssx so i can click on start button so the process ran fine and if you go to the c files location so you can see a file here customer dot xlsx so i can open this particular file so you can see that the data has been populated to this particular file and the excel sheet name is the customer here so in case if you want to change the name then you can provide the new value here at this particular location okay and this file contains the data from the csv file we have all the columns like id first name last name address all the columns are here in the source file we had 105 records so it should have the same number of records here okay 105 so i think this is working good so let me close this one and now let me try to fail this process so that the error logs file can be created in the logs folder okay so let me do one thing let me open this particular csv file and let me try to add a record the bad record it so that it won't follow the formatting of the current file this is a C csv file but i can write something like something weird here okay so i just added this particular value here and now the file is not in the correct format so i can just save this one click yes and let me do one thing that uh, what i can do is that like before executing the whole process i can check if the excel file already exists then i can i can drop the excel file so that it should not have any issue if file dot exist all right and i can copy this value from here and i can append the value dot xlsx okay so if file exist then what we want to do we want to delete the file file dot delete okay so i can copy this value from here and i can paste it here all right so this is good so now what will happen when the process will run then if the file will be there the excel file then it will delete the file and it will recreate the file from the csv file so let me execute the process all right so the process ran fine and uh, i can go back to the c files location and if i open this excel file so you can see that the file has been created and it should have inserted 105 records because the issue was in the last line in the 106th record so that's why it has inserted 105 record and the process got failed on the 106 line so i can go back to the d files logs folder and there should be an error log file created here with the actual error message yeah the file has been created here and i can open this particular file so what this is saying that the number of query values and destination fields are not the same so i think this is giving the error exactly the same because in the destination excel file we have i think 5 or 6 or 7 fields those values you want to be inserted but in the source files in the last line we have added just one value so that's why the fields are not the same so that's why the insert query is failing for that particular line okay so this is the error message and in case if some other type of error will also occur then all the error logs will be created at this particular location okay so this was about executing this code from the c sharp console app now let me create a blank exercise package and try to execute the code from the exercise so i can click on create a new project select integration services project next i can paste the project name here create so they should create a blank exercise package for me all right so the blank exercise package has been created and uh, i need to drag and drop the script task into the control flow window so i can just drag and drop the script task here i can right click and configure the script task our language is c sharp so i will leave this one as it is and i can click on edit script so that it will open the script editor for me all right so the script editor has been opened up and let me go back to the c sharp console app all right so let me copy this particular code from here and uh, i think i need to copy till this particular location right click and you can click on copy and then i can paste this value here it is giving some exceptions because some name spaces are missing so what we can do we can hover our mouse here and click on show potential fixes using system.io most of the errors are gone and we have some errors for the oldb command so i can click on show potential fixes 
using system.data.oledb okay so i think all the errors are gone now yeah so i can click on file exit and i can click on ok so that it will save the code inside the script task and what i can do i can go back to the c files customer.xlsx and i can delete this file so that you can see that the file should be created from the ssis package so i can remove that bad line from the customer.csv file so i can go in the end and i can delete this line and i can save the csv file all right so now i can just try to rerun this particular code from the ssis package and the ssis package should create an excel file in the c files location so i can click on start button so the package ran fine and if you go back to the c files location so you can see that a file customer.xlsx has been created and you can open this particular file so you can see that the data has been exported correctly into the excel file all 105 records have been exported so you can use any csv file and it can convert the data from the csv file to the excel file so i think that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon and click on also that you will be notified every time i upload a new video thank you so much